What's up guys, it's Friday and so you know what time it is. It's time for your favorite show, WTF. Oh man. For a while it was like Lewis was where I was getting a lot of the interviews where I was debunking stuff. Then it was Impact Theory, which is actually asked to have me on. So uh, kudos to Tom, I'm excited about that. Hopefully get a chance to like drop some actual science on there. It'd be really fun. And now it appears that Diary of a CEO is where I'm getting all my content from, unfortunately. So let's see what uh, his guest, Doc Amon, has to say about caffeine. Caffeine does have a significant cost. It's a drug. It increases cortisol, puts fat around your oh. body. It shrinks your hippocampus. It constricts blood flow 30%. I have all my patients hold caffeine. It fakes you out to think you have energy. What it does is it blocks adenosine, the chemical that tells you to go to sleep. Often people rely on caffeine because they're sleep deprived, but it's just this bad cycle. I mean, a little bit is fine, but more than a little bit is not fine. So, <laughs> Don't you love like the really scary music, like the, the horror style music? You can listen to the background music on some of these videos and tell whether or not it's full of crap. This guy's been on the show a few times, Doc Amon. Uh, he's a psychiatrist, just so you guys know. I think that's important to, to point out. There's what's called scope of practice and he's way outside of it. For example, this idea that caffeine increases cortisol and is gonna make you lay down belly fat. Once again, this is an example of just jumping from A equals B, so B equals C, so A equals C. Caffeine can increase cortisol. It's not a massive increase, but it can increase cortisol. It does appear that the longer you use caffeine, the uh, lower the response is of cortisol. And there is some, some evidence that cortisol can affect fat distribution. If only there were studies where they gave caffeine and looked at caffeine intake and looked at people's levels of body fat. Oh, 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 wait, they have those. What do they show? Well, people who consume more caffeine tend to have less body fat. People who are supplemented with caffeine in randomized control trials do not increase body fat. And if anything, end up losing body fat. It's a small effect, but it is a consistent effect in the literature. Uh, caffeine, quite frankly, is probably the fat burner out there with the most evidence of efficacy. And we do know it can raise your resting metabolic rate slightly by like 25 to 50 calories per hour, but it depends on dosage and that effect probably doesn't last indefinitely, blah, 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 blah. But the point is, it doesn't increase body fat. It doesn't increase belly fat. He's just like, again, using this, if this does this, then this does, it's like the slippery slope fallacy. If this does this, and this does this, and this does this, then this will happen. No, what he's pointing out is what's called a mechanism. But when you're looking at actual human outcomes, like for example, the loss or gain of body fat, that is the summation of thousands of mechanisms coming together to produce an outcome. So okay, maybe it increases cortisol, and maybe that has a slightly negative effect on body fat. But it's also increasing resting metabolic rate, which has a beneficial effect on body fat. The overall effect is either neutral or beneficial. So shouldn't that be the take home message, doc? Unfortunately, there's only one of two possible outcomes. Either he's not aware of this research and is just ignorant and is speaking authoritatively, which is scary, or he is aware of this research and doesn't care because it goes against this narrative. So which one is it? Quite frankly, every time I see this guy, more bullshit falls out of his mouth. So I really hope maybe he'll see one of these videos and start looking into the actual research on some of these subjects before he goes on these big podcasts and spreads misinformation. But in the meantime, I do appreciate the content. So thank you. All right, guys, if you like the video, like the video and subscribe to the channel and I will catch you next week.